And now I'll tell you the big rock story. Of a time long, long ago, these things are said. The world then was a wild place, filled with wonders and terrors. Into this world, a warrior of great power came. The people of this land called him Kumsnus, the older brother. But Kumsnus was a protector of the people. Wherever he went, he brought hope to the people by slaying the monsters that lived in the ancient world. One day, as he wandered, Kumsnus heard the tale of a small village by a great water where a dreadful monster had come. stopped going to the waters that gave them life and started to die from hunger and thirst one by one. Soon only a single wily old man and his grandson remained alive, feeding on the few fish that washed up on the shore. Kumsnus knew what he had to do. He went to the village. asked the old man what had happened to the people. And he told Kumsnus that one by one, the people of the village had died in the arms of the beast. Kumsnus thought long and hard on how to fix this problem. He gathered large flat stones from the beach. And he set a fire and put the stones in the flames to heat them until they glowed red. Then he tied those stones to his body. And though he could feel the intense heat, it did not burn him. amazed to see this, and wondered how Kumsnus could not be burned by the stones. He walked to the edge of the water, and splashed the surface in defiance of the monster. It wasn't long before that terrible beast came up to the surface. The beast reached with his long arms towards Kumsnus and quickly wrapped them tight around him. But Kumsnus was one man who could not be held so easily. tried again and again to ensnare Kumsnus. But it did him no good. At this, the creature became so enraged, he jumped at Kumsnus and tried to swallow him whole. landed on Kumsnus' head, and the hot stone burned the giant creature. It tried to escape, but Kumsnus dragged it back to that hot stone. And 
then a single terrible roar kamsanoos picked up the limbs of the fiend and threw the parts into the ocean and as he did this he said you shall transform yourself now and in the future serve as food for the people you once hunted and kamsanoos threw the heavy stomach onto the land where it became a huge stone which we now call big rock the old man and the young boy watched all this in wonder they turned to him and they said in thanks to you of what we have seen here we will tell all the people of the world and so too will our children tell your story and their children and their children until the end of time and that my friends is what i've just done